how to locate an acupoint. So if you have our books, Light Therapy for Dogs or Light Therapy for Horses, you will find a whole bunch of charts in here and they've got all of these little colored dots in there. Those are either based on acupoints or fascial release points. And today we're going to talk about acupoints. So the easiest way to locate as an acupoint is to refer to your book and look at the anatomy, I'm going to say the dog for an example, and you really want to start palpating your animal and just really feeling for them. It's going to be a very gentle touch and you're going to just look for a lot of times an acupoint will be a depression. It'll be very, very slight. It may not be very obvious. It could also be warmer than normal than the rest of the other tissues. It could also be cooler than normal. It also might have a little bit more energy to it if you are sensitive to energy and you can feel energy flowing. So what you want to do is you want to get as close as possible going off of your chart and then you're just going to simply put the light on where you think it is the closest. And the beauty of using lights to stimulate acupuncture points is the fact that with needles, you have to be very, very precise. With lights, you can stimulate quite a large area and it's going to penetrate really deep. So even if you're in the general vicinity of the acupoint, you are going to stimulate it. So that is the easiest way to locate an acupoint is learning how to um, palpate your animal and really feeling for those spots and learning the anatomy. That's going to be really huge for you too. We base all of our acupoint locations off of the skeletal anatomy. So you really want to become familiar with the skeletal anatomy so that when you look at the descriptions of the acupoint locations, you will be able to um, understand and not get overwhelmed by those medical terms. And um, once you learn the skeletal anatomy, it becomes a walk in the park.